You may have seen hackers in TV shows and movies disable a wireless security camera and wonder how practical this actually is. Today, we'll show you how you can disable a wireless security camera that relies on Wi-Fi to communicate on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Hackers and penetration testers who are targeting a specific device on a network, like an IP camera, have a variety of different tools they can use to do so. First, a tool like Kismet is capable of finding the MAC address of all the hosts connected to a network and distinguishing between the different manufacturers so you can avoid targeting something like an Apple TV when you mean to be targeting an, an IP camera. Once you find the specific uh, network that the device is on, you can use a tool like Airgeddon to simply take out the entire network which is a little unnecessary and quite noisy, and in this case is not the most effective means of doing so. Instead, we can take the MAC address we discover and feed it to a tool like AirPlay-NG, which allows us to simply take out the one device that's attached to the network instead of going after the entire network itself. Now this is helpful because it's a lot more subtle, and in order to get started, you'll only need to have Kali Linux on your computer and a wireless network adapter like this TP-Link here or anything else that's Kali compatible. This is all pretty simple, so let's begin. Today, we're going to be going after this wireless camera that we have access to called Big Brother. And it's important that you have access and permission to use the camera that you're looking to try this on, because you can't just go around deauthing other people's cameras because it's a denial of service attack, and depending on what the camera is watching, it may or may not be a pretty big deal. So since this is quite a noisy attack, please make sure that you're only doing it against uh, devices that you have permission to. So, that being said, the first thing we're going to do is fill in the command we're going to be using. So, the command we're going to be using today is airplay ng tac0 uh, and then another 0, which is going to say to send an, uh, a continuous stream of deauthentication packets, and then tac a for the access point we're attacking, which will be the MAC address of the access point where the security camera is basically transmitting. And finally, tac C, which is for the client, and the MAC address of the camera that we discover. And finally, we will add the uh, network adapter, which needs to be in monitor mode. So we can actually run this without it being in monitor mode, but since we'll have already put it into monitor mode to use Kismet, it works just the same. So this looks like a lot, and in order to understand it better, you can always type airplay ng tac tac help. And you can see all the various different filters and stuff you can use with AirPlay that make it more useful. So how do we fill that in? Well, in order to use it, obviously, we need the two different MAC addresses. We need the uh, name of the wireless network adapter, which we can find with ifconfig. And we can see our wireless network adapter is already in monitor mode. But if yours isn't, it's very simple to do so. You'll just need to type airmon ng start wlan 0 or in this case, WLAN0MON. Now, I'm going to type WLAN0MON6, and to do that uh, will mean that suddenly our card is in monitor mode, but locked to channel 6. Now, that's important because, as I can see in my Kismet readout on the left side, the channel that we're, actually the wireless AP that we're looking to attack is on channel 6. So now we'll be able to focus on that channel when we run our command and actually have it attack the right network. Now, how do we fill in all that information? Well, we'll be able to use Kismet to find just about all of that by typing Kismet tac C and WLAN0MON. So once we do that, we'll automatically start our network adapter in Kismet, and we should be able to see all these different networks that are nearby. So we can go ahead and scroll down until we see the one we're looking for. And as we go through, we'll see a printout of all the different clients that are discovered on this particular network until we see one that has a MAC address that is uh, decoded as being from a manufacturer that is likely to be a security camera. Now that'll be something like Dropcam or 
a nest cam or something like that, something clearly recognizable. In this case, we have China Dragon, which lets us know it's kind of like an off-brand uh, Chinese uh, security camera uh, that's very common, and you'll probably see a lot of devices like this. Now, you can also see we have two things that are clearly identifiable as other network devices, like a Roku streaming box and then a, an Aris router, and we can discount, uh, discard these because we know that they're not what we're looking for. So Kismet now gives us actually all the information we need. We can see here channel 6 is the channel that it's transmitting on. Uh, the MAC address is right here for the client we're looking for. And the uh, MAC address of the access point is right here as well. So we can go ahead and close out of Kismet and just supply those variables into our final line. So we'll go ahead and type AirPlay NG and then add in the variables we needed from before, which is just the MAC address of the access point and the MAC address of the client we wish to kick off the network. And as you can see here from Big Brother, we have a time code scrolling here, which means we're getting uh, images still. Uh, and then after adding the network adapter in monitor mode, we can press return and we should see immediately a stop to the received packets and know that we can no longer see what's going on on camera and that any nefarious activities or anything going wrong in the area we're supposed to be monitoring are now hidden. Now this would work against a live operator or even a DVR system that's recording, so right now all might seem to be well, but in fact if we were to stop the uh, deauth attack by pressing Control c we might be able to see what was going on once the device is able to realize it can uh, communicate with the network again and oh my god, who knows what's happening. So now that we've stopped the attack, we're able to get a live feed again and as you can see, someone is up to no good and this could be true with pretty much anything that is monitoring a specific area and is connected only by Wi-Fi because with a simple direction by Kismet, you can input the variables to out, basically knock out any particular device while leaving all the rest of the devices on the network untouched. Here, we can run the command again and freeze the frame for as long as we want because now we know that we can do anything we want to the area that is uh, basically being monitored by this camera and the DVR system nor a live operator would be able to distinguish that anything was going on other than usual. And just like that, we were able to target a specific device on a network and actually disconnect it so that it was no longer able to exchange data. Now when we're targeting a security camera, this can be pretty significant. And if you operate a security camera yourself, you should know that in general, if you have an absolutely critical device, you shouldn't just leave it up to Wi-Fi. Ethernet is a much more secure way of preventing this kind of jamming attack because Wi-Fi is very susceptible to this sort of thing. So if you have something that's critical like monitoring a door or something else that you always need to have recording, Wi-Fi is not the best way to go. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.